Hi, I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 179. What we're going to play with today is a function called match. And let's just jump right in and do it. Equals match. And let's let this thing help us put the pieces together. Lookup value is what am I looking for? And I'm going to look for these initials. Where am I going to find it? You don't want to do the whole range this time. What I want to know is in this list of initials right here, where am I going to find RJA? Because what match is going to do is it's going to look for RJ and it's going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And it's going to come back with a 6 and tell me it's in row 6. That's what match is going to do for me. So we'll F4 this and I just do it out of habit in case I need to copy it. And that's my lookup array. And then when I do the comma, notice how match works. It's a little bit different. VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP wanted true and false. Remember true was closest to without going over. And you had to sort it from lowest to highest. And then false was, I want to find an exact match. Match is a little bit different. One, the less than thing, if you, if you read along here, the largest value is less than or equal lookup value. That's like true in VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP, if you put a one. Zero is like putting false, the exact match. What negative one will let you do is go the other direction. It's the opposite of one. Instead of closest to without going over and sorting from low to high, if we, let's see if we hover over this, if you will help us finds the smallest value that's greater than or equal to lookup value, and it's got to be placed in descending order from high to low. If you ever needed had data going that way and you needed to look from high to low instead of from low to high, you might try match. But what I've always used is this zero exact match, because I don't want it low to high or high to low. I want to know where RJA is. And so I'm going to do this exact match, get the zero, put a parenthesis in, and be done. And it tells me, hey, it's in number six. And if I go, let's do B and M, that's in number 10. So what is it doing? It's just looking, well, let's do this whole range. It's looking here and counting until it finds B and M. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Notice that match is going to find the first uh, instance of B and M. So if I did that, it's going to find two, and it's never going to find 10. It's going to find the first one and be happy with it. So you've got to have a unique list of data in here for match to work, but that works like a charm. That's the basics of match. There are some cool things you can do with match. One of them is this. You can do BNM because match is not case sensitive. You don't have to worry about having the caps lock on and getting it like that. And what if they have the caps lock and then they turn it off? It still finds BNM because it's case sensitive. The other thing that's cool is that you can do um, wild cards and look for the start of uh, initials or the start of anything with wild cards. And we'll talk about wild cards and match. Um, let's just do it right here. I was going to do another formula, but we can just do it right here. If we want to find, let's do O M A B. We can find M and a star. And it's going to find the first one in here that starts with M. And sure enough, the M A B, it's going to find that. Well, if we do a and star, the asterisk or star says find anything after this. And so what it's going to do is it's going to find A, A, B, the one, two, three, fourth one down because it's there. It's not going to find this fifth one there. If you wanted to find A, T, you could do one of two things. You could do this. Oh, come on. Here we go. And now it will find A, T. The other thing you can do with a wild card is asterisk means any number of characters. Question mark means one character. So if you were looking for C, and then I can't remember what Dr. Oliver's middle initial is, it will find it for you with C, question mark, O. Question mark replaces one character. Asterisk replaces as many characters as you need to. But match deals with wildcards, where VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP won't. So if you don't know Dr. Uh, Cornelius Oliver's middle initial, all you have to do is C, question mark, O, and match will do the rest for you. As long as there is only one doctor in here that starts with first name C, last name O. Remember, these have to be unique because match is just going to go down the list and find the first, tell you the place of the first one it finds. And again, what is match telling you? It's just saying, hey, well, I went down your list and the first time I saw it was number nine. Now, what we'll do next time is integrate the first time I saw it's number nine and fill in these row and column information based on the match value, combine the two, and we can do lookups like this. Stay tuned.